Yes. Us. Together. Yes. You and Beckett. Together. Why do I feel like Henrietta knows exactly what she's doing? Me and Beckett Dune. The man standing next to you. Jeez, what are the odds of my worst case scenario happening? Excuse me? What happens when your worst case scenario comes true? Will you agree to write the article or will you chicken out? Yes, today we are back with the next part of the Valentine's Day project on the episode XO app on Apple Arcade. If you didn't see the first one, catch up right here. We have our icon, Juliet. Gorgeous. She looks like Gia's long lost cousin, but you know what? That's okay. Come to find out she's an amazing writer and she was asked to write the Valentine's Day article in the last one. But let's back up a little bit. She, she's not about love. Ju Miss Julia, she doesn't do the love thing. She doesn't believe in love. She doesn't do the love. She is strong, single, independent icon. But clearly love is still a good thing. And something went wrong. So something happened. She is very against it. And then there is her little rival. This boy secretly has been pining after her for so long. And they hate each other's guts. Classic, classic love story in the making. She was going to turn down this article because, you know, she just want to write it, whatever. And so her little rival, her future man was like, what? Thought it, thought it was some ploy or something because they work at the same company, went to the same school. They, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. And so then he was going to decline it too, but they were still probably going to see who was asked first. But lo and behold, it's not who's asked first. They're both being asked to write it together. Of course, if you enjoy the Valentine's Day project and want me to continue, please, please consider giving the video a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Together. Yes. Us. Together. Yes. You and Beckett. Together. Why do I feel like Henrietta knows exactly what she's doing? Me and Beckett Dune, the man standing next to you. Jeez, what are the odds of my worst case scenario happening? Excuse me? Oh my gosh, I said that out loud. Um, let's, let's thank her first and explain yourself. Henrietta, I'm really flattered you want me to write the Valentine's Day article with Beckett. But I'm not interested in writing that article. Beckett can do it alone, but if you want two people to write it, you should ask Summer Conley. She's amazing and she wants to write it. If you'll excuse me. Oh, she really walked out of that meeting. Oh my gosh. You told her what? Why are you surprised? I told you from the very beginning I was going to say, no, she really did that. She really did that. But you know what, though? I got to say, Miss Juliet stood her ground. I like that. Maybe I just see telling our boss no is something completely crazy, but you're bolder than I am. Plus, writing with Beckett, no thanks. That was an interesting decision for Mrs. Collins. She definitely knows you two don't get along. Everyone at the magazine knows. Maybe it's a team building strategy, but I know it's not going to work. I told her to ask you. She wants you to do it, Juliet. I think you should. I promise, Summer, I can write anything. Anything in the world, but not about love. Even if it means giving Beckett the article and have him brag about it forever? Yep. You really hate Valentine's. I really do. Okay, maybe it's not love she hates. It's Valentine's specifically. Something happened. Juliet, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find out what happens here. We're going to find out what Cupid gave you on discount, apparently. That should have been a return. What happened, Juliet? I'll stop and think this over. I did the poll about Juliet's appearance since her default looks so close to Gia from a story we recently did. And even though everyone loves the appearance, I love the appearance. She's absolutely gorgeous. I think I might change her hair. Just to kind of differentiate the characters a little bit since that story was so recently. So I think I might do that. But I don't know yet. I'll see how I feel next chapter. Because when you try to customize them, when I was cus trying to customize Juliet, a box appears in front of the face when you click the option. So you can't even see what you're changing. You have to back all the way out to see what happens. Although I think the nose did it. When I changed the nose, because the nose is different, I think that really sealed the deal on Gia's doppelganger. Okay, back to lift, get ready for work. What should I wear today? Okay, I'm nervous after the last ones we got. Sophisticated and pretty. Okay, it's very Valentine's Day themed with the red. I, I'm not sure Gia's gonna want that. Casual. 
Oh, they're all given red. <laughs> well, we're in season. Okay, let's try sweet and classy. Okay, maybe the pink. Maybe the pink. Well, it's still Valentine's Day. It's given. It's, we got the puffy shoulders going on here. Is this what I want to wear? I don't know. We'll just go sophisticated and pretty, I guess, since it's all Valentine's Day themed. We're going to walk in. This is making a statement, though, with this red. Great, I look amazing. I was going to go with the pink one because it was cute, but we're making statements today. Good morning, Juliet. Oh, it's Asher with his crush. Good morning, Ash. Good morning, Grumpy. And Becca is here. Dear Lord, I promise I'm really close to filing a restraining order against you. You're giving stalker vibes. For buy my coffee in this cafe that's very close to our workplace. Excuse me, can I get you something? Get a mash. Sure. Coffee black, please. And whatever she usually drinks on me. I'm not going to I'm not going to deny the free drink. Uh, thank you. You know I don't need you to pay for my coffee, right? We get paid the same. It's just a friendly gesture, Juliet. Call it a peace offering. Oh, okay. Thank you then. You're welcome. Also, I was hoping to bribe you to convince you to write the Valentine's Day article with me. I so know you had ulterior motives. I thought you would be happy to get it all for yourself. Usually I would be, but Mrs. Colin wants the article to be written by two people. And getting in the no nemesis zone, you're good at what you do, and you're the only person I would want to write the thing with. Oh, oh, he has the biggest crush. I wonder why Juliet hates him so much. I mean, we know he can be cocky and too much because we did see at the beginning of the story. But he, I think, I don't know, maybe Juliet's too harsh on him. I don't know. Sorry, what did you say? You heard me. I won't repeat myself. I'm deeply flattered, Beckett. But I won't write it. End of story. Bye, Asher. Have a good day. I'm really curious to know what happened. Is there something I can do to convince you to write the article? Mrs. Collins, I deeply appreciate the opportunity. But I don't feel comfortable writing the article. Is it because of Beckett? No. Even if it was me writing it alone, I would turn the opportunity down. It has nothing to do with Beck or you. Can I ask what it is then? You're one of my top journalists, Juliet. But to be honest, it puts me off to think you're not willing to take risks when it comes to writing articles. I'll write anything you want, Mrs. Collins. I can write about inflation and the economy, which are things that are far from my comfort zone. But I won't write about love. You should really ask Summer. If it isn't you and Beck writing it, then it will be only Beck, I'm sorry. I'll keep Summer in mind for other important articles this year, but this one I specifically wanted for you and Beck. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Collins. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm going to give you a little while longer to think it through. You can give me your final say on Friday. Give it another thought, all right? Oh, man. I will give it another thought. Have a nice day, Henrietta. Oh, she's really turning this article down. Something really, really happens with love and Valentine's Day. The fact that she is so adamant about turning it down. This isn't like, a, oh, I don't know. Like, she is hard. Even her boss sitting here like, I mean, her boss was really nice and understanding. But I get where the boss is coming from. Because it's like, well, this makes me a little nervous that, you know, you can't write articles out of your comfort zone. Can I ask why she didn't really answer? I mean, Julia doesn't have to answer, obviously, but something traumatic happened. I hope something traumatic happened. Well, I don't hope something traumatic happened because you don't wish that on anybody. But I'm just really interested to see what caused this extreme reaction. Well, not reaction per se, but you know what I'm saying, where it's just like she does not want to do it. Hey, Grumpy, I don't think we're close enough for you to give me an <laughs> She's like, don't do none of that. We aren't close at all, in fact. That hurts. I consider you my best friend. That's sad. Ouch. What do you want, Beck? Actually, I need a favor. I didn't bring my car today, but I need to be somewhere fast. Could you be a pal and give me a ride? A ride? Why are you asking me? Out of all people in the office, you decided to ask me for a ride? I knew which one was your car and I could wait for you here. Stalker. Is that a yes? If I do you a favor, you need to do me a favor. Whatever you want, as long as it makes you smile. Okay. You need to give me a whole day of peace. A whole day without you popping out of nowhere to bug me. But how will I know if it made you smile like that? I assure you it will. Okay, deal. Let's go. I'll guide you there. This is... So where exactly am I taking you? My house. And why do you have to get home so fast? Curious much. 
I can stop at any moment and leave you on the side of the road back. I don't have to be home fast. I lie. Why? I wanted some time with you. Why? Because I'm going to convince you to write the Valentine's Day article with me. Uh, oh, he really did all that. He won't give up. And how are you going to do that? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he does give off tiny bits of stalker vibes, but it's okay. It's okay. His his intentions are thankfully good in this situation. Enlighten me. How are you gonna do that with my charm? What charm? You're funny. Why do you want to write the article with me back? Because I want to change your mind about love. Oh, I didn't know you were true love's advocate. There's a lot you don't know about me, Juliet. I am a hopeless romantic. You a hopeless romantic? I can see it. I can see it from the tiny bit of interaction we've had with them. I I feel it with him. You can just see it in his eyes. Yep. Well, would you look at that? You're not going to convince me to write the article and you're not going to change my mind on love. Oh, he said, I'm not taking none of that. We're here. I'm looking forward to my day without you. You need to hear me out a little longer for the deal to be valid. You should have stated the terms and conditions before the deal started, Beck. I never thought you'd be the one to back off from a challenge. This is personal, Beck. There isn't something you would never write about. I don't think so. I want to understand you, okay? Is she gonna... I never thought you would be so interested in getting to know me. Is the fact that I'm a little broken is what's luring you in. Maybe. I always thought you were a little too perfect to be true. So a hopeless romantic, huh? Indeed. Does that lure you in? Does it? I think secretly maybe a little. There's a whole world on the person I thought you were. And you can get to know a lot of it if we work together on the article. Maybe this would be, this was a very nice try back. But I won't change my mind in just one car ride. Okay then. I really thought you were a good journalist. Too bad I was wrong. Oh! Oh, he hit her with that. Hey, I am a good journalist. A good journalist doesn't leave their comfort zone. I don't think so. I leave my comfort zone. I told Henrietta I'd write an article about the economy. That's very out of my comfort zone. Valentine's Day is out of your comfort zone, Juliet. What do you get out of this? Out of what? Convince me to write this with you. What do you get out of this? A challenge. And I love those. I know you do too. If I agree to do this, I'm mostly doing it because I refuse to have you throw it on my face for eternity. I absolutely would do that. Challenge yourself, Juliet. Prove me wrong. Prove everyone wrong. No one thinks you'll be able to work with me, and that's why you're refusing the article. Prove them wrong. I have nothing to prove to other people. If I prove someone wrong, it will be myself. That's the Juliet I know and hate. So are we doing this? You know what? Are you sure you'll survive working with me? I think Juliet's got this. Juliet can do this. I believe in her. Are you sure you'll survive working with me? We'll be working together 24-7. I think I can handle it. Can you handle it? I'm a professional, Beck. I know you are. So what's the verdict? Did I change your mind? Well, Mrs. Collins gave me until Friday to let her know my verdict. So I'll keep you wondering until then. Oh, give him a little wink. That's unfair. I think I changed your mind. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Was all this no nemesis zone? Whatever helps you sleep at night, Juliet. Okay, the no nemesis zone is over. I hate you, and I hate you more. Hate is very close to love, people. Very close to love. Hey, hey, Juliet. Thank you for joining us. Did you make up your mind? I did. And what did you decide? I'll do it. She's coming. She's coming for blood, people. I'll write the article with Beck. I am so proud of her.